Sometimes it's not just about the progress you make, it's about how you make it. Like for example, compared to a lot of various flavors of Christianity, Orthodox Christians are a little more progressive in terms of female clergy. But compared to literally any non-religious institution allowed to legally exist in the U.S., not so much. See, women can only serve as deacons, which are the third-class clergy in a three-tier system. So they can be, at best, assistant to the regional clergy. And they're almost always not. Not all Orthodox congregations even have deacons. And when they do, they're almost always exclusively male. So even this low-level bullshit is best-case scenario. But as we learned last week, even that is way too much for a lot of Christian misogynists. See, some people within the church are pushing to expand the role of women. And a few of those folks went on a radio program to try to make their case last week. And to give you an idea just how much of an uphill battle it is to be progressive in those circles, the broadcast was being carried by a channel called Ancient Faith Radio. Anyway, as soon as the broadcast starts, so does the misogyny. This is being casted on YouTube, so immediately the comments start filling up with shit like, quote, Paul said women should stay silent because they talk too much and are too opinionated in church. And, quote, this is a joke. And my personal favorite, quote, deaconesses would turn the sanctuary into a brothel, end quote. There was also a comment from a guy who said this subject was far too sensitive for his 17-year-old son. And look. I get that these kinds of arguments can be complicated from a feminist perspective. Like, I want to support women who would like to move into these formerly male-only positions, but the positions are who gets to help oppress women. Like, the fact that there's anything controversial about this one is proof of that. So, in a sense, I shouldn't support anyone who wants to move into that position. But the only way that's going to change is by women fighting their way into positions of power, I guess. So I'll offer them my reluctant blessing. And there's just one other story I wanted to draw your attention to this week. And even calling it a story might be overselling it. Normally, I wouldn't even mention something so poorly sourced, but I saw it on a social media and thought it deserved a comment. So it's the meme that's going around wherein a male coach of a t-ball team declines to play his all-boys team against an all-girls team called the Glitter Unicorns because he's afraid his boys will be embarrassed to lose to them. Now look, like I said, this is a meme. Could very well be fake. But regardless of its veracity, it represents a very real problem that I see constantly between my generation and their kids. Because here's the dirty little secret. His boys team that's playing t-ball doesn't give a sweet fuck what the name of the girls' team that beat them is. Hell, based on the few t-ball-aged boys I know, they're probably jealous they can't be on a team with such a cool name. If anybody's embarrassed to lose to the glitter unicorns, it's the coach. And, assuming it's a true story, shame on him for trying to pawn off his misogynistic insecurities on a bunch of kids. Anyway, on that note, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.